Today is Monday and I hope everybody who is watching this is having an awesome Monday. Me, I'm doing good, man. I cannot complain. I'm actually overjoyed. Last week, we ended off strong. I got my thousand likes. Mr. My Thousand Likes got his thousand likes. So thank you very much to everybody who likes Ray Live videos. Now, I do have some red hot news for you today. The topics that we'll be discussing are on screen right now and the timestamps are in the description down below. Now, before we get into the news, if you are new to this glorious channel and haven't subscribed, do hit that red subscribe button hit the bell notification to be notified of future uploads with that said hello and welcome to raid live our first topic idol south africa is finally back on tv well soon anyways so Idol South Africa is officially going ahead with a brand new season despite feeling the COVID-19 pandemic pinch that everybody is basically feeling right now. Mzansi Magic has confirmed that after delays and uncertainty, season 16 will premiere on the channel on the 2nd of August. So Idol South Africa fans, definitely you can rejoice. However, they did fail to actually provide the details exactly how the competition will, you know, run. But we would imagine that there are plans to actually make it COVID-19 health and safety regulation safe. However, Mzanti Magic has promised to give the show a very interesting twist. They do say that the first two episodes were shot before the lockdown, so the episodes that will follow will be COVID episodes. I, for one, am definitely interested to see how they're going to do it. Is it going to be something that they do it remote? Are the judges going to be coming through via Skype on cell phones or something of that nature? Suppose all we got to do is wait until next week. But yeah, do comment down below and let me know what you guys think about Idols finally coming back to TV next week on the 2nd of August. And let me know what you guys think, how they're going to do it. You know, how you think they're going to actually present the shows. Our next topic, Prince KB promises to donate his award if he wins. So DJ and music producer Prince KP has once again proved why he is one of the most loved celebrities here in South Africa. The talented producer took to his social media, took to Twitter to be more specific and shared that if he wins the song of the year at this year's summers, he will give the award to Master KG. Prince KP posted the following on Twitter, if I win song of the year this year at the summers, I'm going to get that award edited to Master KG featuring Nomnebo Jerusalem. That's just my contribution to what they have achieved achieved this year hashtag whoosh look definitely a kind gesture by prince kb i mean we can't deny that but it also kind of puts a suspect eye on the summers like why did they not have umasta kg in those awards but moving right along it does seem that the snub of the summer awards didn't distract master kg whose hit song jerusalem has gotten over 50 million views on youtube this makes him the first ever black south african musician to reach that milestone so people organizing the summers let that sink in a little bit let it sink Kid. But yeah, do comment down below and let me know what you guys thought about Prince KP coming out saying that if he does win the Summer Award for Song of the Year, he will give it to Master KG. I mean, I don't know what good that would do or if that's even legal, but yeah, kind gesture nonetheless. Our next topic, Inside Bohang Moika's Proposal to His Bay. So talented actor Bohang is officially off the market. He proposed to his girlfriend Chantel Shanti, date rich, date rich, diet rich. You know what? I'm known for butchering names, so I'm just going to put the name up on screen for you guys so you can read it yourself. But one thing I will say, I am curious about this last name. Is it Diet Rich or is it Dietrich? Comment down below. Let me know. Is it one or two? But moving right along, the Ring of Lies star took to Instagram over the weekend to announce the great news that he finally popped the question. And luckily for him, the woman of his dream said yes to being his fiance. Now, nah, Bohang didn't really say much on the post. He just captioned it. She said yes. Let me just play that little clip for you guys real quick. Definitely a huge congratulations to the both of them. Now diving a little bit deeper, according to the reports, Bohang once revealed that their love started on social media in the DMs. You know how things start these days. They start in the DMs. This is what he said on Touch HD. What happened was I followed one of her friends. So I was looking at her Insta story and she happened to pop up in there. And I saw the peach. I was like, hey, hey, hey. So I went into the profile, DM'd her. I was like, hey, I saw you at the audition the other day. We 
talked eventually we exchanged numbers it went to whatsapp we ended up training together we went to coffee dates from there lunch dates movie dates and like the saying goes the rest is history so definitely a huge congratulations to bohang people are in love man it's got me in that mood to propose i'm just kidding our next topic lona masego allegedly dating floyd shivam Ah, uh, some rumors on a Monday. So according to the reports, the rumors, allegations, whatever you want to call it, chef and TV presenter Lona Masego is allegedly romantically linked to the Red Barrett's deputy president, Floyd Chivambu. And according to those reports, they have been dating for quite some time. Now, for all of you who are thinking that Floyd is married, well, yeah, technically, let's not get into technical stuff because according to a Sunday World article, they did say that his marriage to Spesi Pezi has crumbled and she even left their house in four ways. Look, some people will point to the fact that the deputy president of the EFF went ahead and married an ANC member, but you know what? I'm not going to do that. But what I am going to do is tell you what a source or a snitch revealed. This is what the source had to say about Floyd's marriage. The marriage ended just before the general elections. We just didn't want to talk about it then because we feared that if it became known, it would affect the campaign of the party. That is what the source had to say. Now, the source also went on to confirm Floyd's relationship with Lorna Masego. This is what the source had to say. The truth is that the DP, deputy president, was married and the public knew about his marriage because it was well publicized. Now, the public must know that he is no longer married and he is resting with Lorna Masego from Alexandra Township. Now, the source, the snitch, also went on to say that they have been going strong for about two years now. So, you know what? Red love loves love. So, all the best to them if this is true you know how sources and snitches be but yeah do comment down below and let me know what you guys think about that do you believe the snitch do you think that lona masego and floyd shivambu are dating allegedly for about two years our next topics java posts some throwback pictures that leaves a lot of people questioning whether or not look this one is not really a topic per se but you know what i just wanted to talk about it because i did see it i was planning on doing a video on friday about it but i never really did a video on friday about anything but anyways java posted the following throwback uh picture on thursday of course it's actually two pictures you know he captioned them Gukum Zimbak, in my times good morning nibe no su Basically, what that means is that the body gets old, but the heart stays the same. Uh, and nibe no sugoluche, meaning have a have a great day. But the caption is not the interesting part; is those pictures, the pictures, the throwback pictures of Ustjava. Now, a lot of people were skeptical about this. However, it does seem that one user went ahead and found a picture of a mole on Java's upper lip, on top of his upper lip, and matched it and said, "So it's confirmed. It's Java. It's Java when he was younger." java to him now look personally when i saw these pictures i was like nah this is photoshop man this is definitely some photoshop look how blurry the background is but hey man if you got the mole if you're matching the mole i can't i can't argue with that but yeah throwback pictures throwback thursday who knows man i might even post my own throwback thursday pictures on raid live but yeah do comment down below and let me know what you guys thought about java's throwback pictures and we have come to the end of today's red hot news now last week thursday i did promise you guys some shout outs i copied them let us do the shout outs real quick so our first shout out comes from katlejo madisha shout out red live shout out to you mr red live talent mlomo please shout out skalo caramel complected just shout yourself out you deserve it i would ask for one but you butcher my name madi palo ramalepe shout out to me and please mr red live don't butcher my name <laughs> uh -huh. Siangani, I love your channel and look forward to what you have in store for us. Shout out to you, Khotman. Cindy, Ndlangamandla, hey Mr. Red, I want to give a huge shout out to my girl Playheart. I miss her so much. Mutamai Matabane, hey Mr. Red Live, my name is Romeo Matabane. I always watch Red Live. I'm a big fan. Please send me a shout out. And as always, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to Red Live if you haven't and binge watch my previous videos.